guys, I'm finally sitting down to give you guys what you've been waiting for. A few days ago on my Instagram, I showed you guys that I picked up a few things from the Aritzia sale and from Zara. And ever since then, I've received so many messages asking me what I got and if I could post the video. So I'm finally sitting down to show you guys what I picked up and I'm really excited because I got so many cute things. I know I say that in every video. I know I say every haul video is my favorite. I don't wanna talk your ear off because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. So I think we should just jump right into the haul. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe down below for new videos every single week. And now I will stop torturing you and get right into the haul. I did go a little bit overboard, but there was just such nice things that I couldn't help myself. Around this time of the year, Zara and Aritzia both have sales. I'm not exactly sure when the Zara sale is, but the Aritzia sale was happening and I'm pretty sure it's still going on. Of course, I will leave links to everything that I can find down below. So I did want to take advantage of that, but I did pick up some things that weren't in the sale as well. So the first thing I picked up is this tank top. It's actually like a crop top type of thing. I have this in black and I love wearing it in the summertime just with a really simple pair of jeans. They have it in a ton of colors. And honestly, this isn't the color that I was going for. I was going for more of a blush pink, but that was sold out. So I settled for the next best thing, which is a really nice kind of like mustardy nude. I got in a size extra small and I just love the material. It is a pretty expensive crop top tank top, but you get a ton of wear out of it and it looks very expensive. It feels very expensive. It holds your boobs in real nice. I wore my black one a ton, so I knew that I would get a lot of wear out of this also. The next thing I picked up was this little set. So I get asked about what leggings I wear a ton and honestly my favorite leggings are the TNA pants. They are not the same as the TNA legging. The TNA leggings are around $20 and they're very thin, whereas the TNA pants is around $60 and they're very thick and very comparable to Lululemon leggings. They're basically all I wear. I do have Lululemons, I like them, but the TNA are half the price and just as good. I have been obsessed with matching sets recently. I have a ton from my last collective haul from Set Active and I wanted a really nice heather gray. I'm very picky about my gray gray and also if I'm wearing gray I want them to match so these are the exact same leggings as the one I love the TNA pants and they're so soft they're so thick and they're so comfortable like I've never felt leggings as comfortable as these they're double lined so they really hold you in nice and then they have a matching tank top in the same color which is really also flattering the pants I got in an extra small and the top I got in a small and they also have this in a ton of different colors all right, so this is the matching set. I have it paired just with my Balenciaga Triple S running shoes. You can pair it with anything you want, but I just love how comfortable they are. I really recommend the TNA pant in general just because the quality is amazing and they're super, super comfortable. I wanna live in this all day long. The next thing I got are two tank tops. So I actually have an entire basics video coming soon. And as you guys know, I've been kind of switching out the basics that I have for a new and improved basic. My favorite kind of basics are classics with a twist that just has something a little bit different and these are them. These are like a little crop tank top. These are my favorite to wear with high-waisted jeans. You could throw on like a cardigan over or a blazer and they're really good to just layer. What I like about this is the very thin strap. If you can get away with not wearing a bra, I love these thinner straps. So you can never have enough basic tank tops. Honestly, basic outfits are my favorite and these are Stang actually wore this um, two nights ago when I went out with just like a bomber on top and like the bomber fell off the shoulder and you can see like this little thin strap and I loved it so I had to pick it up in black and in white I got these both in extra small they're double lined so they're very thick and I just think everyone needs these in their life and they have them in other colors as well so this is how I wore it not with this exact one but I did want to show you an option that was from Zara this was Zara last season but you can see that with one shoulder shoulder off this little detail. I don't know, I'm just in love with it. So that's how 
I wanted to wear these tank tops. And then when it gets really hot, you can just, you know, take this off. So this next item was part of their sale. It's just a nude blazer. This I got because originally it was real expensive and it was on sale for I think like 90 something dollars, which is still expensive. But I love blazers in the springtime just with like a nice pair of jeans, uh, like that white tank top I just showed you. And then this over the top with a cute pair of heels. And I don't have a nude blazer. I have like a white, what is picking me? Something is picking me in the arm and it hurts like a cream colored blazer but I don't have like a true nude and I think that for nighttime in the summer you cannot go wrong with this or even if you want to dress it up and wear it to work the material is really nice and what I like about this is that it's kind of like an oversized blazer so it fits really nice and gives you that very effortless look it's not fitted you could throw it over your shoulders and that's also very cute and I got this in a size extra small because I did read reviews on this blazer and it said that it was made big and I'm happy I did because this still gives me a very nice boyfriend oversized kind of look all right so you can definitely dress this look up or down based on how fancy you want to be but i just love the look of a very oversized loose fitting blazer with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt you can wear a blouse under you can wear a tank top you don't have to tie your shirt you can tuck it in have it paired like i said with my jeans and a pair of nude heels to match and i know this will be a go-to outfit for me at dinner in the summer when it gets like a little chilly at nighttime. Okay, so this is the blazer over white pants. are just very comfy white jeans. I love all white paired with nude, so I think I like this even more than the other outfit. Right over your shoulders here as well. For a different shirt just because the whites don't really match. You get the picture. I love this outfit. So these actually are not from Aritzia, but I saw them on Aritzia's website. They were just sold out, so I hunted them down. I now own three pairs of a Goldie jeans. I definitely enjoy splurging on my jeans. However, I don't think it's necessary. Zara has a ton of amazing denim right now. When I was there the other day, like I wanted to buy every pair of jeans I saw just because they're amazing and they're like $40, 40 to $50. I wanted a very oversized pair of jeans. Now my dilemma, is that I have a little bit of a thicker thigh and butt. I mean, I don't have a big butt by any means. If I want oversized jeans on my legs, like a loose fit boyfriend jeans on my legs, they always end up being like massive around my waist. And if it fits my waist, I can't even get them on my legs. So I was reading reviews and these look like they'd be perfect and it turns out that they are. So these are the 90s mid-rise loose fit in the color Fallout, I think. So reading reviews on Revolve is always super helpful when you're buying denim online. Based on those reviews, it's how I pick my size. So normally I'm a 26 across the board in like my Levi's and my Goldie. However, the review said to size down because these are very oversized and 25 fits me perfectly, like the exact oversized look. It is still a little bit big around my waist, but nothing like a belt can't fix. I love the distressed look and I have them rolled twice, but you don't need to roll them. They don't have a raw hem, but that's okay. Alrighty, so these are the jeans. I definitely need to wash them because they are a little big like in this area. And once I wash them, they're going to be perfect. So with this whole outfit, I kind of feel a little bit like a painter. Take the jacket off so you can fully see the jeans in just a sec. I just have it paired with my Christian Dior shoes. I have them loosely rolled up. These are the jeans from the back. Not the most flattering on the booty, but <laughs> I still really like them. This last thing I picked up from Aritzia was actually on sale. It's from the brand Wilfred Free, and it's just like a Henley dress. And I got this to run around, do errands, fits like a glove. If you're short like me, I'm 5'1". This goes to the perfect length. You can wear this with a pair of slides, a pair of running shoes. It's not see-through. I know they have it in other colors. As I've been working out, I've been getting more comfortable like in my body, and I've been wanting to wear more dresses, so that's why I wanted to pick this up. But I just, I can't get enough of it. Like, it's so comfortable and I just want to wear it every day of my life. And I got it in an extra small. I want to never take this off because it's warm, it's comfortable. You really don't have to think much about this dress. I just have it paired with black espadrilles. You can throw in a pair of running shoes, which also looks really cute, or a pair of slides. And then I just have my backpack because I think it's like it goes with the whole casual vibe. And to run errands, this is so stinking cute. If you're taller than me, it may be a little bit too short, so I would size up. I did get a size extra small. So that's it for what I got at Aritzia. Now let's move on to Zara. Zara, I didn't find too much in like the regular section, but 
when it came to the TRF section, it's like that section was made for me. That section is my style to a T. I love it so much. I can walk in there and spend hours there just because everything is stunning. I picked up a few things, nothing extravagant, a lot of basics, a lot of good elevated basics. I can be adventurous for you guys and do like more adventurous hauls. However, on the daily, I wear basic clothing and I feel like a lot of you guys do. So that's why I continue to buy basics and just show you guys the things that I love. I feel like it would just be more beneficial for you guys to see things that I actually wear. So that's why there's a little bit more um, basic things in here. My foot is asleep again. Okay, so I've said this time and time again, my favorite um, things to wear in the summer is a good pair of denim and a white top. So I picked up um, a few basic white shirts that are just really cute and easy to throw on and dress up or dress down. This is a little risque, not gonna lie, but I just loved it so much. So this is just a little white top. I wanted to get this to wear with my really, really high-waisted pair of jeans, like the Agoldi jeans I just bought. I don't know, like I just, I just knew I needed it. I have a top kind of similar to this, but in a different material, and this is just a very relaxed, pretty material. I think it looks really cute with a pair of really high-waisted jeans, so I just have on the same Agoldi jeans as before, threw on a pair of nude pumps and my little bag. Also, I get a lot of requests to show the Louis Vuitton belt more, so there it is, and I just really like it. I think you could totally dress it up or dress it down based on the occasion. It's sexy, but it's not like too crazy, and it's good for the summertime, or even to put over like a bathing suit. You could wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with shorts. It's just a really cute top. The next white top I got, I think you guys are going to really, really love. I'm very excited about this one. So it's also like a little crop top, but it's a one sleeve off the shoulder top. It doesn't look like much right here, but I promise you'll see once it's on. This one's a little bit less risque, you know? So if you weren't comfortable showing a lot, You'll see, but it kind of shows a little shoulder here too. I really, really love this top here. I'll try to switch hands to show you the details. So I love how this is still really sexy and different, but not as revealing as like the other top. It goes to the perfect length to meet up with high-waisted jeans. You can see how it kind of has like a little bit of extra fabric, which I do really like that look. The zipper goes up here. I just have it paired with my Levi's uh, Wedgie Fit Icons, and then these are from Lord & Taylor. They're just little slide on heels and I think it goes really perfectly and it's an easy way to look dressy while still being casual and really cute. My favorite part is definitely this little slit. It's just so pretty and so, so flattering. Okay, the last top I got is this little tank top and honestly, I couldn't control myself. They have this in it's like really pretty nude and then they had it in white and they also had it in black. It's just a really pretty crop top. Honestly, you can wear this with sweatpants, you can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with jeans, but it, the sleeves have really cute little frilly details. It's just really cute and this is what I mean. Like it's a basic t-shirt, but the sleeves make it so pretty and so different. I just have the top thrown on with a pair of white jeans Jeans. Again, makeup on every single thing I touch. It's so annoying. I have it tucked in so it looks kind of like a bodysuit, but overall I really love it. And they have it in white, black, this color, a bunch of different colors, like I said. And I just love this detail. It's so fun. <laughs> I don't have a ton of shorts. I have my Igoldi shorts. One of my favorite pairs from last summer were from Zara, so I wanted to pick up another pair. Um, they have a ton right now, so if you wanted to check them out, like now's the time. They're very distressed, but they go long enough to not show your butt. And this is like my favorite wash for a pair of denim shorts. It's very washed out. So I got a size 36. I tried on the 34, which is kind of my normal short size. I've come to the conclusion I'm not a 34 anymore. They fit me, but they were kind of really tight and I prefer like a little bit of an oversized short, especially because denim does shrink in the wash. These shorts definitely need to be washed because they're a tiny bit big and I know once I do wash them, they are gonna shrink. They're giving me one teaspoon vibes and I really do like them, especially because they're a fraction of the price. My favorite part about it is the back where your butt doesn't show. I hate walking around with my butt out. So it goes really nice and short and flattering in the front, which I like, but then, 
long and covers your booty in the back. This shirt is from Zara a few years ago. I've been loving this charcoal color. And then these shoes are my same slides. Just make sure you go and try them on in store because some pairs fit way better than others. I'm a creature of habit and I've been trying to kind of try bottoms that aren't jeans and i do have them i have like leather leggings i have dress pants but for the daily i tend to stick towards jeans and it's, get, it's getting kind of old like i love them but i want to switch it up a little bit you know so i picked up these i found these and ooh, i fell in love these are kind of like flowy cargo pants I don't know if you guys remember, but from my Pretty Little Thing haul, I did pick up a pair of cargo pants and I really did like them. Um, but they're kind of thick and for summertime, I prefer like a flowier material. These have pockets. They look like a true cargo pant, but they're very thin, very breathable. And what I love about these is that they actually um, tie around your waist and like really cinch you in at your waist. You could throw them on during the day. They could be very casual or you can put on a heel at nighttime and dress it up. This is how I have the pants style. I am in love with them. I love them even more than I thought. I just have them with my Gucci Espadrille slip-ons. I really, really like that it has an elastic around the waist to cinch it in. And honestly, these look way more expensive than what they were. The last dress I'm kind of torn on because I have a dilemma. So I love button-up dresses and this is one of them. And Zara dresses are, fit me normally really well. Um, you can see here, it's just a black dress and I pictured this with like a really simple pair of ankle strap heels in the summer and like for out to dinner or if you're going out for drinks, just it's really cute. You'll see it on because this is not doing it justice. See, I got a small which surprisingly fit me. Normally I'm an extra small when it comes to the dresses but it was like a really good length. Now my only dilemma and I'll tell you why I still bought it. It doesn't fit my boobs. It's just so cute that I would get it tailored to fit my boobs because you'll see when I try it on, like it just fits my body and flatters it so nicely. I would have been really appreciative of this dress when I had my tiny little boobs. Okay, so this is the dress. I absolutely love it. So what I ended up doing is just cutting along the side and I'm gonna put a stitch in and it fits my boobs way better. I'm so happy that I did in fact buy it because you can see the sleeves here are just very, very cute. I don't have anything like this. You could totally put a belt on. You know what? I will show you guys that in a sec. I just threw on a bag. I'm trying to show you guys the like a full outfit more than just like the piece. And then here I threw on a pair of leopard print heels these are also from Zara and then up dresses are my thing so I will throw on the belt and show you how that looks this is it with the belt and honestly I think I like it with the belt even more it kind of just breaks it up but you can wear it different ways so this is the back all right you guys so that is it for my Aritzia and my Zara haul I hope you guys enjoyed that if I can find everything I will leave it linked down below if not I will try to find similar pieces thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys back here next time